Hey everyone, okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit about, um, sorry, checking on my baby, I'm going to talk a little bit about babies who have very, very sensitive skin, so my first baby, he, he didn't, um, we could have used anything on him, now I had my second baby, and we just recently found out he's been having this rash, um, it's similar, and you could call it eczema. It's very, he's very, very sensitive to everything and anything. Um, we're still trying to figure out what it is, like, what is he allergic to. But, so far, he needs everything cotton. So, cotton clothes, cotton blankets, um, cotton diapers, sensitive wipes, things like that. So... This, what I'm going to show you right now is what I got at Target, and this is a cotton diaper, and it's a reusable diaper. <laughs> they have like, look at me. they have these little buttons here, so you undo the buttons, you undo the buttons, and that's what it feels like, so it's buttons, you put it on, it's all soft and cotton inside. Um, this is the reusable pad, what you would use, you would, get two of them. Shh. you would get two of them. There is an inside, like here's the front, this is the back, back, front. So this, you have another pad inside, you stick it in, and then you stick this one on top right here, like that. So, that's what you use. It's all cotton. Um, the outside is polyester, but the inside is cotton. And it's from Banana Hem. Yeah. And um, it's a good cause because when you buy any one of the products like this. So my other kid is sleeping, and my oldest one is waking. Gonna wake him up soon. So if you buy one of um, these. Any of their brands, I have this one, I have, it's like a swimming one as well, but you could put it over, because we got already diapers that are for sensitive babies, so this is kind of like it, and it's again, you could reuse it, you just put a pad inside of it, and it does it that way, or it's, it's also waterproof, that's why. Um, whenever you get any of their products, there's this, this, or they have... Since this diaper can be reusable with the washable ones, or you could use the pads that you put in it, it's just like this, except this one you throw it away. Anyways, if you buy any of these products, they, um, here's a name, right there. <laughs> Um, if you buy any one of their products, you are donating money to babies who have clipped lips. I think I got it right, like that. Um, what a clipped lip is, is when a baby is born with, um, how can I say, like their bones and their lips, like, upward, like, you know how our lips are like this? Some babies don't have this. It goes all the way up. It goes like that. And sometimes their teeth are like right here. So you donate money because just for one baby to get surgery to get it fixed is 2000 thousand two thousand no $240,000 for just their surgery alone. So whenever you buy any of these items like this it, I got it all black they have different colors for pink pink white this or these ones you are donating money to help a baby that has that and they don't have money because that's a lot of money to get the surgery done and it helps them and don't you know there's other parts on their face that ends up being like a cliff way it's um like, I guess there's one where the bones are, like, overlapping each other. So, there's something like that. Anyways, you guys can Google it. It's called Clipped Lip. Macho. 
It's called Cliff Lip. I wonder if it says anything on her. Oh, here it is. Um, Charlie's Banana Product supports Operation Smiles, a worldwide medical that changes the lives of children suffering from Cliff Lip. So that's right, Cliff Lip. Cliff plates and other facial. Um, oh, can't even say the word. Um, what is it? Uh, one surgery costs a little as, like I said, 240000 And by purchasing any one of these products, you are helping a child's life forever. So on here, there's already a baby. There's already a baby, if you could see. I don't know if you guys could see. Here she is before, and here she is after. So she got a smile back. <laughs> um, but it helps as well. And that helps of what I'm trying to talk about is, sorry, there, okay, that also is what it helps by talking about a baby who is very sensitive, so cotton diapers and things like that. I have medication for him as well, um, so he's taking that as well. And I also wanted to show you some other stuff that I got. This is all from Target, so you could get it from there or from their website. Ah, sorry. Um, Thank you. Dove Sensitive. Me. So I got that. It has a very small amount of. How can I say? It? A small amount of. Uh, what is that word? Moisturizing. Um, because with babies that are sensitive, they need moisturizing. They need it from the actual medicine and the creams. And there's like some moisturizers that have alcohol in them, and it just dries the skin out, anyways. So it doesn't help. Anyways, I also got this one. I haven't used it yet, so it's brand new. I actually just bought all this. And um. Since she can't take baths, all, I'm used to taking my kids a bath, no punch up, all the time, every single day. And now, since he has very sensitive and dry skin, he can't, no punch up, get down. He can't take baths all the time. So, a best way for me to try to keep him clean, it is a no rinse cleaning fluid, and it also has no alcohol in it. It is good for his condition of eczema. So, this is what it looks like. And there's no dyes, no perfumes, no alcohol. So, I like literally had to look for stuff. Because I got some things that were for babies for their dry skin and stuff like that. But it had alcohol in it. So when you look at products and for your babies that are very sensitive, make sure it says no alcohol because it's just going to dry their skin out even more. So I have this. It's just a little, you wet a little towel, wash them off, just like a wipey basically. But this one actually cleans more than a wipey and most wipeys actually carry alcohol in them. So all baby wipes have alcohol in them. You actually have to look and see which ones say no alcohol. So just to give you guys a FYI, baby wipes have alcohol in it. Um, and like I was looking since I breastfeed my baby, um, things to clean his chupon and stuff like that because they have those things or his pacifier, the thing he sucks on. <laughs> um, I was trying to look for things like that, and to find out they also have alcohol in them. I, at the moment, still can't find anything that doesn't have alcohol. So again, actually, this is the brand. It's called Mustly, Mustly, or whatever. That's the brand name. So if you guys could see it, and then here it says alcohol free. So there's no alcohol in it. And it is just little cloths that you just wash the baby with as well. So I got it. This is actually from Target. So this is where I got it from. And then I got this. 
they have a whole bunch of other stuff as well. So if you guys would cream wash. So there's the name. They are actually all natural and all organic. So bye bye dry. And that's what it is. Um, it's a family company. As a family guy, wife, kids, dog, cat, we are the kind in a good way about creating a clean and safe, healthy environment for our babies, our pets, and ourselves. So actually, if you try to look for the the name. I don't know if you guys can see it. It is called Baby Genus. Wait, did I say that right? Yeah. <laughs> so look for them, and they actually like dogs also have dry skin, so they do stuff for dogs. I have this one for my son, and it's a baby's. It's called Bye Bye Dry. It's a moisturizing therapy wash cream. Like I said, it is based on oatmeal. So, when you guys do yourselves and you have very sensitive skin, it's good to get oatmeal. That actually helps. So, that's pretty much all I have. He, I still can't find that much stuff for him yet, but I will get back when I do. Um, I have that. <laughs> so, they make, when you get oatmeal, it's what also helps moisturize your skin. So, things that say oatmeal do it. There is actually people that make their own, where you make actually with oatmeal at your house, your own remedy. So, you guys can look up at that as well. Um, that's probably much more better and safer anyways. Because then you'll know what you're putting in your product, or in your moisturizing cream, body wash, hair gel, things like that. And... You'll know what is in there and what is not. You'll know if there's alcohol or there's no alcohol. So that's pretty much what I'm trying to say there. Um, yeah, I have a basket full. <laughs> so there you guys go. Um, so look for stuff that for your pets, for yourself, for your babies that say oatmeal in it. Try to make sure when you look at the labels that says no alcohol because I've been finding a lot of stuff lately since I just found out my baby is very sensitive um, that a lot of baby products do have alcohol. They have saying moisturizing and stuff like that, but they actually have alcohol in them. So really, really look at what it says and read everything. Try to even search up what some of the words that you don't even know means and look at that. Um, so far everything I've got right now is all natural, all organic, and it is alcohol free, perfume free, dye free, and um, like some of my products also have cotton. <laughs> so again, when your baby is very sensitive, try to get stuff that has is cotton. Everything is cotton. 100% cotton. Blankets, sheets, um, stuffed animals, <laughs> Um, diapers as well. They do have diapers that are cloth that are disposable. Um, so try to look for those and try to look for diapers and wipes that say alcohol free or no alcohols in them because a lot of times your diaper, ba your babies get diaper rashes from diapers that have alcohol or this glue that's in them and they also could get a rash and it may burn them and things like that when you're wiping them. Um, because the wipey may have alcohol in them as well. So, again, try to find things like that. At the moment, I have a um, Pampers Sensitive Wipes, and that's what I'm using so far. Other than that, like, if you get out of the hospital from just having your baby, they're more likely to tell you just use water and a napkin. That is actually your best bet anyways. Because then you know it's just water and a napkin and not all this other stuff. Um, if you want your baby to smell good, uh, try to look for products that say no alcohol in them. And what else? Um, yeah, that say no alcohol, no fragrance and stuff like that for babies that are 
um, very sensitive because they'll still smell good, especially that way. There is some lotions that are good for your baby that don't have alcohol in them. They do have a slight scent, and um, that will be fine as well. But pretty much everything else is fine. Um, my first son, he still used Johnson & Johnson. And I love it as well. Uh, some of their products I noticed my son can't have because of what is in them. My second son can't have because of what is in them. But my so first son, I still use them. So just based on whatever you feel that you want. But if you have a baby that's very sensitive, I was happy to share this with you guys because I don't want anyone else to go unknown about what am I supposed to do. So here you guys go. Um, that's pretty much it. So my kid is getting frustrated, so I'll see you guys later, and I hope you guys liked what I said. Um, sorry, it may be long, um, and I hope you got everything what I meant, and I pretty much just tried showing you guys everything what it is. So again, um, all the products are by this name, the diapers, the reusable diapers, and stuff like that. So that's everything. Uh, see you guys later. Bye!